Rocket Racing is drawing closer to becoming an instant hit, yet major issues have already begun to derail its ascent. With the competitive scene so bleak that players are forced to play on European servers, the future of the game is already up in the air. Although the recent patch did address many issues, the community still feels there's much more to be done in order for the game to take the internet by storm. So, sit back and relax as we dive into the controversial game of Rocket Racing. Rocket Racing was released just under a month ago, and despite the game's quick takeoff, Epic now finds himself with a game mode, rapidly losing players by the day. The lack of timely developer support for critical issues within the game has already seen average player counts decrease from 3.5 million all the way down to 50,000. So what went wrong? If you ask the current Fortnite player base, many will say that Rocket Racing is just a simple racing game, with nothing special nor skillful in its gameplay. However, this has been proven false, with various mechanics being discovered within the short period of time, some of which requiring incredibly precise movements to perform. However, this line of thinking has already caused the Fortnite player base to lose interest in the game mode, going back to Battle Royale or LEGO instead. And with the lack of developer support, not to mention the issues plaguing the game, you can hardly blame their choice. The first issue players encountered when playing Rocket Racing was the particularly hard vehicle collisions. Although now patched, it was not uncommon for vehicles to be spun 180 degrees after a collision, and with no available respawn key, the bug quickly grew in notoriety, with players calling for Epic to remove collisions entirely. And whilst 180 degree collisions are no longer possible, collisions still remain a real threat to the game's future. There is commonly a group of players in each lobby who target first place in the hopes that by continuously bumping them they will be able to take first place and it is only a matter of time before the opponent hits a hazard or crashes as a result of bumping. And this barely touches the surface of Rocket Racing's issues. The game also suffers from invisible death barriers, some of which lie on the track itself. Dustup is one track of many which has these, leading to many players losing 4 second leads and coming 5th instead. These issues along with player desynchronization have already been discussed widely by the entire Rocket Racing community. However, the rabbit hole of issues goes much deeper. Currently, there are two options when playing Rocket Racing. Play an individual track or play ranked. For whatever reason, the game doesn't feature an unranked mode, dismissing the entire casual player base once they reach gold rank for the free skin. For the small percentage of remaining players, it doesn't get any easier. In fact, it gets much, much worse. And it's all thanks to one huge oversight. Get a map you don't like? No worries! Simply leave before the racing light turns green and face no punishment at all! As for the other players, they race as normal, but now with slimmer rank up positions. Coming 4th in a 12 player lobby would usually grant you percentage, but when reduced to 6 player lobbies, this now puts you in the bottom half of the lobby, losing percentage. This leaves players with a clear path to gain percentage, queue and leave until they get their favorite maps, and face no punishment for doing so. This leaves the developers with a decision. Either have positions locked to a percentage gains and losses regardless of lobby size, or punish players that leave the game. It isn't fair to punish players who do the right thing and drive every race start to finish. The next major issue with the game is drafting. Although a useful mechanic, drafting has quickly become one of the most controversial talking points of the community due to its severe lack of balance and advantage compared to leading the pack. If boosting did not exist in the game, maybe its impact would not be as severe. Yet, due to the advantages of drafting, Players can easily charge their boost bar and keep up with first without ever needing to boost. This leaves players with an extra boost, allowing them to win the race with ease. It shouldn't be like this. Whilst drafting should remain in the game, it's vital to the future of the game that its efforts are dampened in order to promote leading the pack. While seemingly recently patched, 180 degree turns are still possible within the game, most notably on Sidewinder in the second and third tunnels. And although respawning was recently introduced, its input delay of 3 seconds, not to mention complete loss of momentum, proves disadvantageous in most situations. Instead, they need to remove input delay on respawning, and make respawns preserve momentum, similar to Trackmania, in order to not punish those who fall victim to an unlucky bump whilst drifting. Glossing over other minor problems, AFK should be forced in the ghost mode immediately, this currently only happens at the end of lap 1, and an in-game timer with lap switch should be implemented. Opponents should have a graphic around their character when boosting for quality of life purposes, and boost trail cosmetics should be implemented. Now for the future of the game.
Recently, Rocket Racing did announce they would be introducing in-game speedrunning leaderboards, a track building tool, and further customization options. This, however, is very broad, so we'd like to still discuss what the game needs. Similar to Trackmania, Ghost should be implemented into the game, with the ability to race against both friends, personal bests, or even world record holders inside the game itself. This would also likely include the addition of medals, which would give the game a breath of fresh air in solo play. Further, a replay tool should be added, so that players are not only able to take cinematic shots, but also record funny or unlucky moments with greater quality. Recently, leakers were able to dig up files related to Season 1 of Rocket Racing, showing a new limited time mode inside Rocket Racing that seems to be an ultra difficulty. With spikes as the walls and barriers covering the floors, this opens the door to the future of LTMs. And with this, some interesting additions may be Elimination, similar to the Cup of the Day format in Trackmania, and Team Racing, which would be relatively unseen in the arcade racing genre. With the new track builder, it would also be nice to add unique blocks that haven't been seen before, such as seesaws or different terrain. Only time will tell whether some of these features will make it in. All in all, whilst Rocket Racing currently lacks some quality in online gameplay due to the presumed lack of testing, the game has a bright future. Epic are listening to the community and taking feedback into careful consideration. But it is only by speaking out that we can make a difference, and in Rocket Racing, we have already seen just how far players have gone to achieve a perfect time. If you're interested, check here to see the progression of Riviera within the first week of the game's release. Thanks for watching.